The State of the Union provides a unique opportunity for European civil society to get a sense of the Union's future direction. It is against that agenda that civil society can hold the Union accountable on behalf of its own citizens. Citizens expect the European Union to address the big issues of our times, and they don't understand why it can't do so quickly and decisively. It's time to change that by involving active citizens in civil society and reshaping the Union into an institution that is value-based, democratic, easy to understand and capable of addressing the issues that citizens really care about. Today more than ever, policymakers at any level of the European Union must consider health as a priority when setting a political agenda for the years to come. Health has to be before industrial and commercial interests. Local governments are a powerful means to handling crises and shaping a sustainable and resilient future. In light of this, EU programs will be key to their success. Now, it's time to work together for the recovery Europe needs. We are facing tremendous challenges, but we have seen also incredible steps which have been made in the past. Now we are looking forward to recovery which is socially fair, which is green, which is sustainable. As older people, we are more committed than ever to contribute to the further development of a Europe in which everyone has the chance to grow up and grow old in dignity and caring communities. Der Zustand der EU ist gut, er müsste aber noch besser sein. Die Zukunft Europas entscheidet sich aktuell bei bedrohter Rechtsstaatlichkeit, den Auswirkungen von Corona oder des Klimawandels. Hier sind vor allem die Mitgliedstaaten gefragt, eine noch handlungsfähigere EU als die Lösung zu schaffen. We envision a strong, diverse and united Europe with empowered young people who all have safe and equal opportunities to be socially, economically, culturally and educationally mobile. Young farmers and food production, it's a heaven-made combination. Investing in them is investing in a future generation. Il Next Generation EU è la prova del 9 per l'Unione Europea, soprattutto per le giovani generazioni, perché non c'è alternativa all'Europa, non c'è alternativa al futuro. We hope that this year's State of the Union address will focus on how the Union strives to become a Union that works for all citizens and through the Conference on the Future of Europe listens to the voices of all Europeans. We need the deeper form of Europe. We need it even more after the crisis. We need to prepare the reform with a stronger participation of civil society and a stronger participation of citizen movement. The reforms that President von der Leyen announced last summer need to be put back on track, such as transnational lists, improving the Spitzenkandidaten principle, and launching a meaningful, inclusive, and non tokenistic conference on the future of Europe. We cannot have a sustainable and inclusive future if we are not ready to build it together. Therefore, the Conference on the Future of Europe will probably be an excellent occasion to do it together and to include seriously inputs and insights from civil society and local governments. We as Solidar expect the EU to be bold as it chooses its path, to reimagine something greater as it rebuilds towards a new and improved normal. One that offers sustainable development, social rights and democratic freedoms. One that caters for all.